Okay, we live at the crib, vibing with Vito. I got my brother in the building from that know ya. You already know that. <laughs> What's yeah, up, nigga? I'm cool in my dog. You good? Yeah, yeah. For sure, bro. For sure, bro. So man, I had uh I had my dog in here last week, man. He from your hood too. So he gave me some gems in terms of do's and don'ts mm -hmm. in the city. You know what I mean? But coming from a younger generation, I like to get your point of view in terms of like, you know, just tell me, take me on a ride through New Orleans, man. You know what I mean? Like, just tell me, like, where you grew up, you know what I mean, the era, and let's go from there. Shit, I grew up, like, I grew up in the Magnolia Project, like, when it was the old bricks and shit. Like, For sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, seeing Juvie. For sure. Seeing Turk. Seeing Soldier. Mm hmm You know what I'm saying? Seeing Babe and them come through that bitch. And we used to see Wayne sometimes, too, but you know, like, as in seeing Wayne... It was like a real like icon type yeah, shit, that's what like I'm you saying. know what I'm saying, like, cause like he had that gift, you know right, what I'm saying, like, right, right. And it's you can't really see Wayne like that if you don't see Wayne, like. Yeah. So as me like going to school, right by the hood, right. They used to shoot videos every day, hot boy shit. So, so you I, let me ask you this. I ain't mean to cut you off, but one of my one of my questions I was gonna ask you baller blocking mm -hmm. were you in the hood when they shot baller blocking I was out there but I just ain't getting no scene okay for sure you feel me but sure. I made it to that back that thing up video okay <laughs> how was that me? hit the newspaper and everything the bitch was hard damn that shit ran crazy. to the house when I ran to the house when I saw the article showed my mom I'm like mom I'm in the newspaper so you was in the newspaper I was on Man the Fresh part. That's hard. That's yeah. hard. That's hard. So do you go back and look at old videos and like reminisce because they tore down the hood when? They tore the hood down probably like oh four three. Yeah, okay. Feel me? Like okay. before Katrina. Mm hmm You know what I'm saying? Like they still had bricks and shit sitting after Katrina, but it was over with. Right. Everything right, right. washed up. You yeah. Feel me? It's crazy, man. My uh my uncle was running for state representative at one point in time. Mm -hmm. So we used to go like to every hood and I remember putting the picket signs in people's yards and shit. So yeah. we was uptown, um, we went through the seventeenth. We went all we went all over the place, you know what I mean? But like New Orleans was a different place, you know what I mean, than what it is now. Like, you know what I mean? That's way so, different. Yeah, speak on that because all of the hoods are like basically tore down and yeah, they they rebuilt, like, right? Yeah, everything like different now. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like every hood is no bricks no more. Like right. the except old the Iberville. So, I think that's still, the yeah, I think they still the got love. bricks in that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's still different though, because like it's new. New people that live in there now, you know what I'm right. saying? Like, like tourists or yeah, what they you got mean? tourists like, putting in there. Like, so it's like the old days you could run in somebody's house when something go on. You right, feel me? Right. Like, you can't do that no more. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Unless you really know them. Damn, that's crazy. You know that's what I'm crazy. So, they calling the police on you <laughs> for sure. So they changed the Magnolia Project's name to Harmony Oaks. Okay, okay. Harmony so Oaks. is it still the same rules apply? You can't go in there know you if you ain't from there. It's not like that no more. It's just a simple fact, like, the people that's around there are treated right. like that. You know right. what I'm saying? Right, like, right, Like, for example, they had uh, King back there before. King, you talking about the rapper? Yeah, the rapper? The Red okay. King. They okay. had King back there Where, where he from? He from the East, ain't he? He from the, uh, he from the Nine Ward. Oh, okay, East, okay, one okay. Of them, okay. But they had him back there, but his people lived back there at the same time. Okay. And he did a little video back there. Promoting violence type shit, you feel me? But it was just like on some shit, like some shit we wouldn't do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he did, and it made us look bad. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. That's crazy. So in terms of the three, the biggest projects in the three is like what Magnolia, Magnolia, Cali, Melfi. Okay, okay. That's the only. That's the only three projects. So are those are those tore down too? Like the Mel the Melfi. All of them down? remodeled back different. Okay, you feel me? Okay. Like no more bricks. You feel Damn, me? So it's, it's kind of like, like Atlanta, like little Roger neighborhoods type okay. shit. You for feel for me? Sure, yeah. For sure, for sure, for sure. So my mom from the Seven Ward. Mm -hmm. So you know, um, shit like like I was telling Levy, like I always used to go down there every summer, any holidays. You know what I mean? I was in New Orleans. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it was just basically just seeing that shit as a kid. I was like, damn, these niggas living wild for real. Yeah, them niggas different down there now, bro. Like, like everything changed. Like that shit, like came from like. Niggas been doing what they was been doing, like, right. but see that like that Chicago shit and all that drill shit is and all it, that, is it, is it, all that shit perhaps over that way, like, you know what I'm is saying? Is it influenced by that music? Yeah. Do you feel like, because I always tell you, like, bro, you you like the new Soldier Slim, in my opinion. Yeah. I hear your music and I'm like, 
I believe everything this nigga talking about. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, see, I ain't about to really, I can't say if it ain't true type shit. You right. feel me? I ain't gonna do it. You see what I'm saying? Because I was raised under him. You feel right. me? That's all I used to listen to right. and see with my dad and them. Like, you right. know what I'm saying? So that's all I remember. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? So your dad is Tonto? No, my that's my uncle. That's your uncle. Okay. My uncle. Okay, okay. That's Nino sure. daddy. Oh, so that's Nino dad. Yeah, Nino let's dad. let's talk about that. So Nino, your cousin. This Nino, your real. My this your first real cousin. That's crazy. First cousin, three years apart. So did you know that that nigga was gonna start rapping, or like was it just something that just came about? True part about it, like we moved out here and had a studio in right. Gwinnett. In Gwinnett. Yeah, we had a studio off of Sugarloaf or whatever. Okay. You feel me? So right. Nino was thirteen. I was 16, mm -hmm. and yeah, we had did one song called Transformers or some shit, you feel me? But right. like he been knew how to rap, right? Right. But he right. was shy at the time, right. you right. see what I'm saying? And he had the lyrics, you feel me? So sure. when he gave it, I'm like, bro, that's what you should do. Right. That's what it is. Right. And ever since that, blew up all SoundCloud and shit. That's what I'm saying. It's it's crazy because I I just heard about bro like out of nowhere one day. I'm just, um, I'm on YouTube because I'm heavy on that YouTube shit. Mm -hmm. I just get on that shit like faithfully and just watch. So I'm watching the video and then Rockabye came on yeah. right after that. I was yeah. on World Star page actually. Yeah. And Rockabye came and I saw how like it, it just reminded me, it took me back to like some old New Orleans shit. Yeah. So I'm like, man, let me check bro out. You know what I mean? So yeah. after that, I was hooked. I was like, bro, this nigga really can rap. You See, know what like, I mean? Like for the city, like. The city love Nino like Wayne, you feel me? Because yeah. he remind them of Wayne type shit, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? The ways he going and all that, the swag he got right. and all that. Like, nobody can't really do it like that, you know right. what I'm saying? So they look up to him, you see what sure. I'm saying? He got New Orleans. For sure, for sure. Louisiana known, you feel me? Damn. Just got to just explore out. For you sure, know for sure. Do you um feel like the city is being represented represented in that light that you would like it to be? Like, with, for example, you got people like Rob Fortnite doing their thing and, yeah, and shit like now. that. You know what I mean? I see Nino getting ready to put out another project with yeah. another dude tomorrow. Y D. Yeah, He's so drop, uh, Treaty, Treaty's doing her thing. Treaty the one. She doing her me? thing. She, she had a show, um what, in Texas, I think, last week, and I saw the crowd was going yeah, crazy. Yeah, they love her. They love her because she taught that. She taught that. She taught that shit like girls ain't gonna talk. You feel for me? Sure. Like, Where's she from though? She from the seven. Oh, okay, all right. Oh, she from the seven. Okay, for sure, for sure. Seven. Damn, that's crazy. That's crazy. So, seeing people that you knew or probably going to went to school with or around the same age taking off and you taking off too, do you ever think about like, hey man, shit, we should all come together and just like move as a unit? You know Most what I mean? Do you feel yeah. like New Orleans as a unit would be more stronger or like? Being that it's divided, that's why. Yeah, like we stick together in New Orleans. I think we'll be way better than everything. Cause like, I feel like different states like taking our home swag culture and everything. Like, but like, everybody don't want to be together. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got some they don't like about this and that and that. You know right. what I'm saying? So it make it like, damn, you might well just keep doing what you do. Right. You see what I'm saying? So when the bounce era was coming, like you know what I mean? Cause you. Yeah. You from there, so now you you hear a lot of people implementing that in their songs now. Like how did do, how does like a person from New Orleans feel when they hear a person that's not from there use that, but not also pay homage to where it came from? They really don't like it. They just don't want to say it. You feel me? They don't like it at all. Damn. But they just at the end of the day, they doing what they doing. That what they ain't doing no more. You feel yeah. me? Like because at right. the end of the day, like them certain bounce people got older. You see what I'm yeah. saying? And like. They were about man, it over with. Like nothing you could do about it, right. but try to get money off it. You see what right. I'm saying? Hell yeah! So like, DJs in your hood, talk about that. Like how was how was like those parties and those interactions back in the oh, day? Man, block parties, everything like that. Like that's something you didn't want to miss. Right. You feel right. me? Like right. if you at school, you trying to leave school to go to that DJ because you know that DJ about to start. Damn, that's like crazy. you get out of school about two thirty. That DJ about to start about four. So so it was starting that early? It was starting that early. Because the hood was eight. always the hood was always like popping. The hood popping regardless, you feel me? Everybody in the hood, like, you know what I'm saying? So That's crazy. You can't miss it. Right. If you miss it, you're gonna be like, damn. Right. I should have been uptown. Right. I should have been downtown. Facts. Facts. Why I gotta live this far? 
For sure. You feel me? Yeah. Uh, my mama got me inside bad. I got to do homework. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, facts, facts, facts. Let's talk about M3RE. You know what I mean? Because I see y'all represent. You got the chain yeah, on. Man, and M3, like, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, when I hear Nino music, I hear your music, I hear that a lot. So, like, take take us on, like, you know, a journey with that. Like, how did that start and shit like that? Like, M-Trey started from Pop Dollars from Bronx, New York. Mm -hmm. And Nino Calvin, you feel me? Like, they best of friends, so... It was like a family tree type thing, you know what I'm saying? But, like, we just, Pop got it as, like, you know, he running with it in New York and all that. Mm -hmm. That's a little bro right there, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And we running with because we from the Magnolia. So right. the M going to stand for Magnolia, the three for the third wall, you know what okay. I'm saying? Okay. So that's trade. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's just M3 type thing, you know what I'm saying? So That's dope. That's dope. Mm -hmm. So do y'all, um? so it's a crew. Like, it's yeah, not it's a gang, really, it's a crew. It's a crew. Okay, it's, a, it's crew. a crew of dudes, like, you know what I mean, all on the rise, mm -hmm. doing things positive, but also rapping too as well. Yeah, everything, like, clothing, clothing lines, you know what I'm saying? Like, everything, like, you could involve in to one, everybody repping the M-Tree. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah, Nino a cool dude, man. We shot the video, the one-on-the-ones yeah, one together. The one-on-the-ones, man. Bruh had pulled up to the video shoot Dolo. Yeah, I was telling um, one. I was telling Levy that, too. He came Dolo. He just had good energy. You know yeah, what I mean? Uh, like Definitely. You know what I mean? So yeah, that, if, he, if, he, if he fuck with you, he fuck with you. Yeah, that, he, ain't gonna, he ain't gonna even play like he don't fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? That's hard. That's hard. So traveling back and forth. So you do shows up here and you do shows back home too as well. Couple of shows. I ain't been having shows in New Orleans because I just been on a standstill. But like, I give it to like next year. I'm going to be yeah. back outside. For sure. You know what I'm saying? For sure. 2024. We, we got something for you, um, December second, man. The veto uh, show. Good. I got, I gotta put you on that motherfucker. Got to get me on the veto show. Yeah, man. man, man last, yeah, the, man. man, that shit was sold out, bro. Oh, that was my man, first. So, that was my first sold out. My dog everywhere right now, that man. Shit. I'm supposed to be with him. Nah, for sure. So, so December second, that's when we trying to, you know, pop that off. We're you know what I mean? In, that's man. that's the date that we looking at. You know what I mean? If anything changes, you know, we gonna inform you and shit like that right. too. Let's talk about what you got going on, though, man. Any projects? Any singles that we pushing right now? I'm about to push a single. Coming soon, called uh, Dip. Okay, you feel me? For sure. It's it's like Black and Mild produced it too. Man, that nigga, he a legend. Yeah, Black and Mild, legend. like like I love his beats. Like you know what I mean? Like bro, been doing it for a minute too. You yeah. know what I mean? So that's Black that's big. Black produced it. That's big. Got like the bounce samples in there. It's like a bounce song, but right. it's rap. Right. Because I ain't gonna never go bounce way. You feel me? I'm a why, rap. Why you say, why you say that? Like, cause, cause that's that's where you from. Like, that's where you from. though. you could do it. I could do it, but I feel like that ain't me. You right. feel me? Like right. I ain't gonna lie to it. Like, like Slim. You feel me? Like Slim could get a bounce beat, but but Slim gonna talk it how he talking. Mm -hmm. You feel me? He gonna keep it natural. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I'm just keeping it natural on there. Like you know what I'm saying? For sure. I'm gonna shoot it to you too. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. I got it, I got to hear. I got to hear, bro. Cause like, bro, like. I feel like that Trigger Man beat is legendary. Yeah. Anytime definitely. you hear anything with that Trigger Man beat, if if it go like that, you know it's gonna be a hit. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So how did you link up with Black and Mom? See, I've been knowing Black since, like Black Mom always stayed by the hood, like mm -hmm. by our uh, park called Al Davis, mm -hmm. on the Shakespeare Park, mm -hmm. stay right across the street. But I've been knowing Black like from way back, my uncles and all that. You know what I'm saying? For like sure. ain't like. I've been, like, he been taking a liking to me, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I used to always go to the studio by Black and all that. So as me just growing up still, right. by myself, I pull up. Right. Every time I go to New Orleans, Black going to call me. Every right. time Black come to Atlanta, he going to call me. For sure. Gonna lock it in. We're going to do like three, four songs every time we meet. You nah, that's me? hard. Like, that's hard. And we tell you the truth, man, Black got a tape coming soon. We just trying to get the name. Produced by him, you feel? Damn, me? that's hard. Some that's DJ hard. Khaled type is, shit. Is he a young dude or he older? He like older. Like how how long he been doing it? He been doing this for black. a minute though, right? Like, like yeah, he been. He I been, see yeah, black been doing it over sure. fifteen. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did he produce anything for Slim? I'm trying to think. I don't think. I don't know if he did something with Slim. I don't know. You know, black one uh messing around with P and them too. That's that's you know what, what I was saying? saying. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Okay, I don't okay. Think he never did nothing with Slim. You feel me? That's not that's, that I heard. But that's crazy though, cause like Slim was with P for yeah. a little bit too. Yeah. So I would I would assume that they'll probably get together too, cause I know KLC is like yeah, you know Beats by the Pound. That's another one right there. You, you ever did me? something with like Beats by the Pound? No, I ain't been. I I I, I holler at KLC. Yeah. He hit me back, you feel me? He already see the energy I'm giving, yeah, you see what I'm saying? Facts, so facts. I'm just waiting on him. 
Facts, That's facts, not, facts, facts. It's a process. For sure. So, like, go back to uh, 4-9, you know what I mean, doing this thing. He's he's from what? the, the 4 that, 9 from the Ville. The Ville, right? Okay. You raised in a 9. Yeah, you know what so saying? that's why so it's 4 9, nine okay. you feel okay. me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Did y'all know each other before he popped? Or? No, like, tell you the truth, like, I went to jail in 2018, mm -hmm. came home the end of 2018, went back in 19. Right. Damn, nigga, I ain't corona know you, like, time. Nah, cause like that's that's crazy. Cause I thought you was on. You only did one bid. I ain't know nah, you went I back. I went twice. Okay, okay. I went twice. Okay. Set for a minute. You feel me? But when I came home after corona time, I flew to Vegas. Mm -hmm. My bird. You feel me? And then we flew to L.A. And that's how bird was playing. Was four nine. For real. And I'm hearing a voice like, "Who that is?" Like you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They like he from New Orleans. But I never heard of 49 in jail. Mm. But he was doing his shit. Like shows at yeah. like house parties and all right, that. Like, right. like he had the whole fan base right, going up. Right. So right. I heard him and Nino's song at Bird House. Okay. Okay. I, like, I like that nigga. He got that voice. You yeah, feel me? Facts, facts. Never met him. You feel right. me? Like He showed man, you a lot of love yeah, online. He, too. Like me and him online, like, like this, you feel mm -hmm. me? Like. And Ty really met him like mm -hmm. that's my dog. You feel me? Like, nah, that's dope. You feel me? I met him in person. We'll we'll rib each other and all that. You know? Yeah, fact. Do some funny shit. You know what I'm saying? But like I fuck with four now. You feel me? Like I just always knew him from the internet. Right. And fact. Ty really seen him in person. You feel me? But I knew him. him and Calvin got a whole like you they know. They got a tape. Yeah, they got a tape. They got something about to drop. They just don't know what they gonna call it, I guess you feel, but they got a lot of songs. That is, that is dope. That is dope. Got a lot of songs. So for a person that's never been to New Orleans, Louisiana, tell them about Mardi Gras, bro. Oh uh, man. If you ain't never been to New Orleans, Mardi Gras, Essence, Bayou Classic is the top three things you should wanna go to. For sure. At times. Mardi Gras is gonna be love. Like, cause at the end of the day, it's something you ain't never seen, but yeah, you facts, heard about facts, it. Facts. You feel me? Like I don't give a fuck where you from. Right. You heard about it. Mardi Gras. Everybody right. want to go to Mardi Gras, but they just ain't have a chance to go. Yo, is drinking legal like down there? Because niggas be drunk hey, man, goddamn listen, from man. the from listen. goddamn 8 a.m. You know, all I, the way. It's, you know what I mean? Out here, clubs close, what, 2 o'clock? That's what I'm saying. Like, liquor store close at 10. Liquors don't never start, stop closing in New Orleans. That shit All crazy. night. You walk, you can leave out the club with your drink. For sure. Put it like that. You got to throw your club, uh, throw your drink away out here. That's crazy. That's crazy. Tell the, tell the people about daiquiris, bro, because a lot of people wanted me to that's ask just that the about. Natural, that's, the, yeah. that's the natural phase right there. Like, so, you know what I'm saying? So where are the top places to go and get daiquiris at? You know what I mean? Like, in your opinion. Where New Orleans you... daiquiri. They got the one on in 17 in the okay. back of the character. They got one on uh, General de God. They used to have one. The real one was on St. Charles. Yeah, I think I remember that. Yeah, that one. was the original. Yeah, one. Like, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't go there, you probably could go to the one in the French Quarter. They got okay. hand grenades. Okay. You know what okay. I'm saying? Or you could go to the one in Metairie. But like, it's just different spots. Everybody like they go to. Right. But like, it, they be hitting the same way. You right. Know what I mean? What's that one that was on the east though? It was over there, not too. It was. It was one on the east. I think my 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 auntie used to take me to that one because that's where my family from on the east. Yeah, they had a. I forgot. But they got it everywhere, though. They like, got them everywhere. Yeah, like, nah, you okay. just got to catch them. They got one in Slidell. That's crazy. Slidell? You got one in Slidell on your way to go to Atlanta out of town. That's crazy. So you get it you a daiquiri. It wants you to stop. You get, get you a daiquiri and hit the road. Get you a daiquiri and hit These the road. These crazy. Get you a gallon and, and make it to where you got to go and show the fam some love. Damn, you know damn. I mean? Let me ask you this. So... Po' boys, right? Yeah. When you go to Popeyes, right, mm -hmm. and you get like certain shit, like do do it taste the same as like a cassinet when you go down there or whatever? You know what I mean? Like, like, see, like Popeyes out of town to Popeyes in New Orleans is way different. Right. You feel me? I don't know what they putting in their chicken, but it's different, bro. It's different, it's bro. Different. Like, see, like that po' boy, they had jeans po' boy. Jeans. That's what I meant. Jeans. Jeans. They knocked jeans. it down, bro. Jeans was wasn't that downtown? I was right down Rampart, downtown. Yeah, downtown. Yeah, the the stove, the stove yeah, right there. Yeah, right on the corner. Ah, uh, it was across the street from on um, that Walgreens. Was yeah. it the Walgreens? Still across got the, street? the Walgreens. Ah, see, they were saying like they were saying Jay Z and Beyonce was supposed to been a bought a uh, place or whatever. Oh, that's fucked up. To change it, so they really gave it up. I don't know who they gave it to, but when they that's knocked what that I down, heard. I could have sworn I just went. Nah, I ain't been in New Orleans. I, last time I been was uh two thousand twenty one. Yeah, they 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 it's gone. 
Damn. I don't think it's knocked down, but it's gone. Damn. That's it now. But that was the one. Available, that right? was the one. That was the one. Everybody, you're going to stand in the line for a jeans late night yeah, at the club. I damn sure was in that line for a minute, too. I ain't going to even cap. I ain't going to cap. I was in that line for you a little minute. You're going to get that line. I don't, I don't care how drunk you is. You're going to jeans. Damn, that's crazy. That's crazy. So casinos, man. The Like, you know, let's talk about Harris and like places like that. Boomtown. Like, yeah, Boomtown. Treasure. When you was when you was little, mm-hmm. was your dad and your uncles like sneaking you in like casinos and shit? No, see, like, I never tried to go to Harris right. when I was younger. I wanted to, but they were talking about ID. Mm. You get the fake ID. Mm-hmm. They gonna scan you. Somebody told me you're going to jail. You feel me? <laughs> so I ain't even tried. Now, we ain't trying to go to jail. So Not my great-grandma, before she died or whatever, rest in peace rest to in her. Peace. You know what I'm saying? We used to go to bingo. Okay. You feel me? I had to go to bingo. I went sure. to Boontown one time. Yeah, I've been to Boontown too. I used to always go to bingo just to see how the old folks do it. Right, you know what I'm right. But right. I never knew how to do it to this day. I still don't know how to play bingo. Yeah, man, I don't know how to play that shit neither. I be trying to get into it, like, when I go down there, like, because, you know, my people heavy on there. Let's go to the casino. Yeah. Let's go do this. Like, so I go, but it's like, damn, nigga, I'm finna lose my money, right? Yeah, hair is different, though, because I don't even know how to gamble. I don't know, know how to gamble. I do is shoot dice. I ain't gonna even lie to damn, you. Damn, damn. If I walk in Harris, I'm going to the club called Masquerade. Yeah, Masquerade is in there. You feel yeah. me? They be, uh, doing par- they be doing a lot of parties in yeah, Masquerade they, they, still? They ain't been doing it lately. Like, okay. I think it changed because they got the club called Fillmore next to it now. Is that's down? It's that's, like under Harris, like it's under Harris. Oh, it's Fillmore, so they've been having okay. concerts and that. Yeah, I seen um, every Sunday. Yeah, I seen like a tonight lot. Tonight they got one. Okay. Church on Sundays. It's called Church on Sundays. That's hard. That's yeah. hard. That's hard. So I've been watching like a lot of a uh, you know. So I be on Free Water page too. Mm-hmm. I want to meet them niggas too. Yeah. By the way, Free Free Water man, my dog Frankie man. He yeah. one of a kind. Yeah, like, he a fool with that camera. I want I want to meet. He been that the nigga. one. He been the one. Like and he different. You feel me? Yeah. Like. like he took his talents like from New Orleans, like uh, Bonnaroo, Bonnaroo, going yeah. to Tennessee yeah. and all that. For sure. Now he uh, stationed in Texas and all that. Like, like he everywhere. Like, tell you the truth, everybody know Free Water. Like, yeah, you know what I'm I want to get some um some gear from them niggas yeah, too. Do they got a store down there? They got a store down there. Okay, uh, the Free Water uh, store. They got a store right there by the Republic. Yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna go. Uh, I think the next time I go to New Orleans, I think I'm supposed to be going the next couple of weeks. I'm gonna yeah, just go got, down there, go got fuck with them boys. Done, and shit like, like you know that. what I'm saying? Got the website, and he got the store on hand. Right. They used to do parties, so that yeah, brings they, me back. See, to they that. parties do always they gonna go viral. I was yeah. Anytime you do a party, it's always something with free water. You know? Yeah. What I'm saying? Like their marketing is crazy, they bro. Marketing like crazy, the way they got that a lot yeah, of connections. That's what I'm saying. Like the way that I found out about them is because every time I used to, I used to, I think I was on Nino page, but also G Herbo. Yeah, Herbo. Was fucking with them too. Yeah, Herbo love them too. And like I'm just like everything I see, free water, free water, free water. I'm like, okay, cool. And yeah. like my little cousin, he was like, yeah, we going to the free water. Uh, free water. I'm like, damn, okay, I got it. I got like three in. free waters in jail. I was mad, bro. Damn. Like damn, damn. damn. Bro. They just had y'all just had an event though, right? Yeah, just had a Nino and YD just had an event last week at the Republic. Okay. Soul Out show. Damn. Shout out to YD, his first show in New Orleans type. You know what I'm saying? Damn, for real. His real fans showing him that who he really is. You know what I'm saying? So is he from where y'all from? He's from from? the Nine Wall. Okay. Okay. Nine Wall. Man, see, I, I'm starting to see New Orleans coming together, though, and I, I like it. Yeah, I like certain it. people coming together, certain people still got pride. You yeah, feel me? yeah, for sure. But what do you think, okay, so what do you think it would take for, like, the like the whole city to, like, kind of, like, like, all right, look, we're going to put all this bullshit to the side. Let's come together and really take over shit. It's really, like, tell you the truth, like, certain people ain't going to really come together. I know from my way, like, certain people, because, like, Things went on in life, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? As in, like, blood been shed, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, facts. people grieving still, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Facts. So it's still going to be like a handful that going to always override to mess with somebody, but they ain't going to mess with that other person right. that's around him, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. So it's always going to be like, damn. Right. It's still elimination, you yeah. know what I'm saying? facts, facts. Do you think it will ever get to a point where, like, the gun violence can change in the city? Nah, they ain't gonna never change because it's like, it's the young people not growing up. You know what I'm saying? They got 13, 14. Nigga, 13, 14? Letting it loose, you that feel me? That's like, crazy. Like, new word switches and all that. But it's like, it's like you that young, like, how do you even know about beef, though? Like, how do you get into beef at that, at that age? Like, you know I mean? feel like if you that young and you beefing with somebody in their late 20s, 
late 30s, early 30s or something, it's something they been wanting to do when they were small mm -hmm. and about you beefing with their uncle or their big cousin or mm -hmm. anything like that. But you would never know you beefing with them until they approach you. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Or they tell you, like, and not as new thing as the internet. That's how Man. you gonna know the you beefing with somebody because they exposing themselves on the internet. That's the craziest shit. It's like the internet made the world so yeah, small. Yeah, see, like bro. they ain't had no internet. You just gotta find out who a person is. Mm. You feel me? You could be anybody on the internet. Right. You know what I'm saying? But who you really is without the internet. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Facts, facts. Damn, that shit crazy. Because, like, New Orleans as a whole is a beautiful city, yeah. bro. And I feel like, man, I just want to And again, this is me talking from, like, being an outsider. I don't know right. what, what done went on. But just seeing that, y'all got so much talent just mm -hmm. in one place. You know what I mean? Like talent, It's like a boiling man. pot. You yeah. feel me? Like, everybody can, like, get over that, you know, get over the edge. It's just some people that's in New Orleans that got a lot of talent don't want to leave New Orleans. Like, Speak I feel on. like if you got family out of town... And you know you could go out there and show your talent somewhere and get some fans out that way. I think you should take it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But they just be stuck because they just the hype. You feel right. I me? Mean? Like they they just used to what they doing and who they seeing the same people. Damn. I used to be like that as in the hype. You feel me? But right. as I'm getting mature and growing up, right. it ain't the same because the same people. You could be a hundred percent. You gonna right. they gonna make you ninety nine. You feel Damn. they gonna make you. They gonna take a what, one. What, what you mean? What you mean by that? Because I'm just saying, like yeah. basically, like say you're a hundred percent, as in you fly. Mm -hmm. You know you fly a hundred percent. You got yes man's that gonna tell you, man, you a hundred percent. But you got somebody gonna make you ninety nine. That's in uh, the city. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that's just a little envy and hate they have towards you. you know right, what I'm right. You can't right. never always be that hundred percent. Damn. Living in New Orleans. Damn. You know what I'm saying? That shit crazy. Let's talk about the good things that uh from the city that happen and stuff like that. Do y'all do a lot of charity events like the Yeah, they do a couple of charity events. It'd be certain people come down and certain people that's from like shout out to Spitter, you feel me? I love that like, dude. Spitter bro. like like I fuck with Spitter the long way, like, you know what I'm saying? He do a lot for the city, and I feel like Spitter supposed to been had the keys to the city, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because he's still in the city, you know what I'm saying? So he like, still live there, He's still living east over, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Spitter still ride his foreigns by himself, smoke his good gas, drop top. People love him, I don't think. People love him, nobody never try to do him none because he always been him. Mm -hmm. He never was nobody else, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So he always showed the love, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Even when... Wayne went his way to Miami and all that. Spitter stayed in New Orleans. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. so Spitter, like, really, like, legend to me in New Orleans. Like, you know what I'm saying? I remember one time I saw Spitter in the East, going to Eastover. Damn. And I'm at the red light on side of him. Damn. But how things go in New Orleans, nigga, a spook out. Mm -hmm. If you roll a window down, like, how it used to be like, oh, Spitter, uh, da, 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 like a fan yeah, yeah. out the window. It was regular, you know what I'm saying? Now these days, you roll the window down, they think you about to do them something. Mm -hmm. And as in me thinking, I saw Spitter to my left by itself, drop top, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, look at my dog, man. Yeah, sure. I'm going to just see him when I see him like at the jet lounge yeah, or something yeah, and facts. let him know. I saw you at the red light, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, for hit sure. him up or whatever. Yeah. I don't want to spook him out and raise the window down, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, that'd be different things. You so know so in New Orleans, it's like, that's the thing. Like, it's like, damn. Everybody look in your car. See, out here in Atlanta, nobody not worrying about who you is next side of you when you pull up at the red light. When you pull up anywhere, they breaking their neck. You know what I'm to saying? To make sure it ain't somebody they... Even if it ain't nobody, they still looking in your car. You know what I'm saying? You can have a tent. They still looking. You don't got no tent. They still looking. You know Damn. what I'm saying? It's just different ways, bro. Damn, it's that shit It's just different crazy. ways. It's, 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 it's a change of command down there, bro. Man, that shit crazy, man. Let's talk about Juvenile Tiny Disc, man. That shit was one for the culture, oh, bro. Oh, man, man. That was, I, I, saw, I had to look at that motherfucker like 10 yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. I looked I, at that shit at least different. like seven times. That you know shit was what dope, saying? Like, Juve, one of the ones, bro. Like, Did you Juve ever meet? You ever met Juve? Yeah, like Juve. I went on tour with Juve. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to the ghetto children. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was supposed to be a part of the group or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Juve, like... Man, Juvie got a song. Juvie got on my song. My single was called Half Dance. And he did the remix. And Damn. we had it on radio and every day on Q93. You know what I'm saying? Like, Juvie really showed me things. You Damn, know that's saying? crazy, like, bro. You got you a song with Juvie. Got now. a song with Juvie to this day. You know what I'm saying? Like, Juvie wanted to get on it. You know what I'm saying? You already know I can't. 
tell them no. Let the legend nah, nah, get on nigga, it. Nigga, nigga, that's all right, nigga, I'm sending it right now, that's bro. Like, right, right now. Like, yeah. Matter of fact, I'm about to pull up and we're going to do it together. And Damn. we did it together in the studio, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. So ever since that, we went to New York together and all that. He, I bought Juve out. Yeah. Young Juve performed. Uh, Daniel Harless performed. T.Y. performed. Nino performed. And my song, Hell Dance, I performed. They get, I gave the energy to all the Latinos. Everybody was loving Damn. it because I, I danced with my yeah, music. So yeah. I really, you know, entertaining yeah, the yeah, crowd. Yeah, fact. You know what I'm saying? And Juve set started right after my verse. And he came verse out. My, and he came out. You didn't even know he was going to come out. No, I knew he was coming okay, out. Damn. You know what I'm saying? But as damn. my song come on, I know Juve on the second verse. That's so hard. after he did the second verse, that when he started his set. Damn. It really like it was an eye opener to me, like, man, it's real. Damn, that shit crazy. Like, you ever met Lil Wayne for real? I, I know you Wayne. I know you said he was in the hood, but like I have you Wayne. ever like had a conversation with him? I definitely Wayne? met Wayne. I met Wayne a couple of times, but like I never had that conversation with Wayne. You know what right. I'm saying? It just was a time like, see, I'm not a person to be around him like and be so exciting to be mm -hmm. around him. You know what I'm saying? I'm just around Wayne, just chilling, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Nigga smoking on the bus and shit. Like, I've been knowing Bird, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like that's OG right there, you know what Damn. I'm saying? So, you know, high B's on all them, you know that's what I'm saying? That's crazy. Killer Stone, rest in peace, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I grew up around peace. looking up to them dudes, you know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. I want to meet that nigga Bird, man. Next time you got them in Miami or something, let me FaceTime you or something. Yeah, you know, Bird, to Bird. Not, Bird was just down here, man. Bird for real? down here, you know what I'm saying? That's Bird hard. thinking about moving here. Moving to the A? Yeah, he moving to the A. He trying to take a talent from Miami to the A. Nigga, that's, that, that'd that be crazy. That'd you know be crazy. I, I guess he waiting on Thug, though. Oh, okay. He was up with Thug, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, Because he really trying to get this shit started. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, free Thug, man. Free, free thug, thug, man. man. So tell the people where they can find you, man. And also, like, if you got any... I know you said you got your single dip dropping. Yeah, I'm going um, to drop my single dip. I got a little mixtape I'm about to drop. Probably next week after I get the cover made. Cover should be done soon. For sure. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to call it uh, Take Stop Playing Fool. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Just a little trend I'm just been setting every time I'm... It's what really about all the nightmare? Freestyle. The nightmare of uh, tapes? As, as like, October. I was go okay. As so always, every, so every, I, as every always October, Halloween. Okay, man. every that's October. Halloween, that's the Halloween edition, For sure, man. for sure, for sure, you know bro. You've been saying? grinding for a minute. You see been I'm up on your shit. Minute, I be knowing me? what you got going, bro. I know we friends, but I be really like, for New Orleans, like... Like, all the OGs, like, they know the shit I'm talking about. They know it's real. I be out working. Right. Like, like I be out working niggas in New Orleans mm. that still be doing things because of my work ethic. You right. see what I'm saying? Facts. But, like, no matter what you're doing, like, I never hate on nobody. I don't care yeah, for who you is. You facts. know what I'm saying? Like, facts. you could be my worst op. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Whatever you do, I salute that. You know what I'm saying? For sure. I still tune in and see... What people talking about, right? What they got going on, for you sure. know what I'm saying? Because I know what I'm doing. Yeah, for Better sure. Better than that, yeah. You comfortable not. in your skin, basically. Yeah, kind of you comfortable, comfortable in what you got I'm going doing, on. You know what I'm saying, for sure, nigga. I appreciate you for pulling up and vibing with yeah, Vito man, today, man. my dog. Tell the people where they can find you and stuff. You can find me on Apple, Title, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Toki Hefner, T O K E Y H E F N E R. My All dog. platforms, man. You already know. For man. sure. Hey, man, it's another episode of Vibing with Vito. We was in that know you today. Was in that hey, know man. you. Real deep hey, down man. in that know you. you For sure. Me? Thank you, bro. You hey, man. Know. We Shout gone, out man. to Playhouse, man. For sure.